guys, Keela, and welcome to this week's edition of the Earth From Space programme from the ESA Web TV studios. This week, the Copernicus Sentinel 2A satellite takes us over the largest of the Azores Islands, San Miguel. Resting at the intersection of the Eurasian, African, and North American tectonic plates, the Azores form a string of volcanic islands in the North Atlantic Ocean, some one and a half thousand kilometres west of mainland Portugal. The nine major islands are divided into three groups, with São Miguel falling into the eastern group. The archipelago is an autonomous region of Portugal and home to just under 250,000 people. We can see the capital of the region, Ponta Delgada, in the bottom left of the image. The main transport hub of the Azores, the International Airport, is clearly visible in the same part of the image. Tourism is an important industry for the islands, with visitors flocking to enjoy the unspoilt beaches and breathtaking landscapes, from the geysers of São Miguel to the natural waterfalls of Flores. Known locally as the Green Island, San Miguel is the most populous of the islands and amidst the lush foliage, volcanic craters and freshwater lakes, visitors are spoilt for choice when it comes to visual attractions. The largest freshwater lake in the Azores, Lagoa das Sete Cidades, can be seen in the top left of the image. It lies in a large volcanic crater and consists of two lakes, Lagoa Azul and Lagoa Verde. On the right of the image, we can see Furnas Lake in the Furnas Valley, famous for its volcanic cones. The landscape of the island has even influenced local cooking methods. Cogido das Furnas, a stew-type dish, is prepared by lowering a pot filled with meat and vegetables into the hot springs dotted around the valley and leaving it to cook for around five hours. The Azores Islands are rich in terms of flora and fauna and are home to a large number of resident and migratory bird populations. Efforts are being made to restore and expand the laurel forest typical of the island, as only around 2% of the native laurel forest remains intact. ESA, in collaboration with the French space agency CNES, is organising a symposium on 25 years of progress in radar altimetry, which will be held in Ponta Delgada from 24th to the 29th of September. The symposium will address advances in our understanding of the open ocean, the cryosphere and coastal and land processes, as global sea level rise remains a growing concern. That's all for this week's edition of Earth from Space. Thanks for watching and see you next week.